thank you for visiting a moment in the word for believers anyway there is a chapter of scripture that i think would be affectionately referred to as the the chapter of faith and that is hebrews chapter 11 and that chapter begins like this now faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen for by it the elders obtained a good report through faith we understand the worlds were framed by the word of God so that the things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. Hoped for, but unseen. Not something I can reach out and grab and feel and touch, but something that I choose to believe in. What it tells me is that I can't set before you God and say, here he is, this is what he looks like, this is what he does. I have to choose to believe. This is a moment in the Word, and the title for this particular video was, Who is God? Now, obviously, that's a question that cannot be answered in a four- or five-minute video or any amount of time, I suppose. But, and you would have to ask that question of a believer. I don't think a non-believer can help you understand who is God, because it's the believers that believe there is a God, and believers will tell you that God is the author and finisher of this faith that we read about in Hebrews chapter 11. Now, if you are here as an agnostic or maybe even an atheist, and you want someone to explain to you who is God without using the scriptures, well, we have no other path except to use what we believe is the inspired and preserved word of God to, because that's where our faith is based. And, that's, and our belief in God is by faith. It's a choice that we make. And we make choices every day, right? We are inundated with data, we are inundated with information, and we choose what we believe and what we don't believe. And for whatever reasons that may be. So if you're here maybe as a non-believer and you don't, put any, um, you don't put any weight on the scriptures, then I don't know that you can get the answer you're looking for here. But I know that there's a passage of scripture that tells me that if I in this life only have hope in Christ that I am of all men most miserable. Well I can take Christ out of that statement and it still bears weight. If in this life only I have hope, I am miserable. And I think even if you were an unbeliever and you could read the story of Job and see his struggles and listen to his description of the life of man when he says the days of man are few and full of trouble. Now, I don't know anyone who has their health and strength and their vibrancy would tell you, wow, I've just, I've really lived too long. Because as long as we have our health and strength and our vibrancy, we want to live. Even sometime after our health and vibrancy is gone, we choose to cling to life because that's just the way of man to want to live. But again, the older we get and the further down the path we get, the more that we realize how how fleeting it is, how fast it goes by. And it's, it has trouble. Now, I'm not telling you that I don't have fun, that I don't have joy, and that I don't ever have periods of, of pleasure and satisfaction, because I do, and I don't mean to say that I don't. But overall, this life is short, it's fleeting, and it has its trouble. And I don't know anyone who looks at the world around us and can't see that there's things out there. There's things that we want to protect. There's, we, want to our, we want our health to be good. We want our families to be happy and healthy. We want to keep our jobs and have good incomes and, and prosper. But we know that those things come and go. We, have, we suffer through things, right? So at the best, the days of man are few and full of trouble. So for me personally, I make the choice to believe that there is a creator God who made heaven and earth, who put man here, who has an affection to man, and wants to, and has a plan of salvation for man that goes beyond this life. I want to have hope that there is something else after this. If you are content with believing that this is what there is, we are, we're born, we live, we die, that's it, end of story. That's okay. But if you have a hope that there is something after this and you think that you can make that decision or want to make that decision or even care, then that's what it's all about. Whether or not you believe in God and who he is is a decision, right? This has been a moment in the Word.